Hello my crafty friends. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my craft room. This is Sherry and I'm excited to start adding pages to this uh, trashy journal today. So yeah, it's not looking trashy, it's too trashy so far, but <laughs> I kind of wanted to, I don't know, you know I have to make them pretty too, or try to. <laughs> so um, here's what we have so far. We have the cover, just to review for a second. We have the cover. I did go ahead and sew around it um, after the last video. I uh, sewed around it just to, you know, I like to sew around them if I can. And there's no problem sewing through this, uh, you know, base. I just did a little straight stitch. I did a little zigzag here really just for decoration. But it happened to be right there. I thought it would be cute right there by the, the tie closure. And I did a couple of zigzags over here too and here just for fun. So that is, um, that it is sewn around now. And we used our, you know, we used a gift bag there or a shopping bag. Um, I guess it was technically a gift bag and the uh, vent used it for a little gift bag, goodie bag that I went to and they had put their label there. So what I did was uh, open up the rest of it and cut it in half. So like here's where one of the gussets was over here. And I folded it in half and then I cut it. You know to make two pages here but then I thought I would make the these pages um, you know I was going to use them as pages but I thought let me uh, make this into a pocket so uh, they fit in here like this I'm going to kind of make sure it's not too wide they're a little bit too wide I need to just cut a sliver off the side here um, so yeah let's just start adding some pages to this I've got a couple of things things uh, pulled out here that I have added to my trashy junk journal basket project basket so uh, let's see maybe one more sliver I just want to make sure you know because I don't know where this is going to end up in the journal and as you know how you add, as you add pages they kind of protrude out more and more from the on the edge so let's just Piece of tape. Where did I get that off of? Something I opened up recently. I'm going to leave that there. It looks like a little mini piece of masking tape. I'm going to want to put that in here. Since it's a piece of trash, I was just going to throw it out. <laughs> but I, you can see I didn't cover up the label yet. It may, may or may not be covered up by me. Like if someone gets this journal in the future, they can cover this up and put whatever they want on there. Or I might cover it up. I don't know. But it, right now what I'm doing is making this into a pocket. So First I want to put some a little thumb notches here on the inside page. So let's do that. I have my have my uh, circle punch here. So we're going to put a couple little notches. And we'll save those in case we want to use those. And we're going to glue these together. I just need to grab the tissue. Still fighting off this cold. So I might have to even stop and pause. But uh, let's see. So I think I can. Here's my notches. I think I'm going to leave it like that. And then just glue the sides together. And then this will be a pocket in our, our little trashy journal here. Uh, I think I'm going to. Hmm, I'm trying to think of whether I want to sew this together. Or I mean I could just glue it together. But do I want to sew it? I think I actually want to sew it. So I'm going to be right back. Okay, so I sewed the pocket together. I really like, uh, it's, I have black thread in my sewing machine right now. So I really like the black on the yellow. It reminds me of a bee. So, <laughs> reminds me of, you know, a bee of black and yellow. So, um, anyway, that's going to look super cute. So one other thing that I pulled out was this, um, I had thrown this into my trashy uh, junk journal project basket. And it is a 2019 little calendar. I would say that's trash at this point. <laughs> I mean, what else can you use it for, right? So um, I'm I'm kind of randomly want to put uh, pull out a page, but I want to see if there's uh now there's some yellow and black on that butterfly. Let's see if there's anything else that would be more appropriate. Oh well, here's a sun. This looks like a sunflower. I don't know if that is a sunflower, but I think that one might be the most appropriate one. Um, yes, I think so. So 
It has a couple different butterflies on it there. So let's see what we can do with that. Okay. So that'll be a fun page, but this is, of course, way bigger than our, our little book here. So let me see how I want to do this. Um, it almost could be... Uh, you know, I could put it in the middle like that and have it open up like that. Um, and just cut it here. You know, just be right in the middle. I can make it the middle page and you open up and you see this pretty butterfly and pretty flower. Uh, I could cut up, cut it off a little bit here at the top. There's a hole in a little kind of a blank area, a small blank area here. So that I could have more of the flower, keep more of the flower. So I'm just going to cut a little sliver off the top, a quarter of an inch, something like that, where that hole is in that blank area. And then, yes, I didn't know how this was going to happen, but this is how it's happening, apparently. <laughs> so let's do that. And we'll probably, I think I'm going to try to use all of this in here and not put any of this page back in my basket. So. Uh, we'll see how the rest of it turns out after we get this in here as our middle center page. So there is, I think it's beautiful. So we'll fold it right in half. And like this. And let's see if it's too tall. Nope, no, it's, it's perfect. Okay, so that is such a pretty page. And look how non-trashy it looks. Uh, that is so pretty. Okay, so here's the other side. We've got... See this side when you you know you know when you do a calendar the other side is always upside down so here's the calendar part which I think is cool and then uh, here's this part so this one just so happens it's pretty much almost the width of so it's probably the perfect uh, this way length so I think I can go ahead and use this this way and maybe I can turn it up and make it into a pocket like this and then I wouldn't have to cut off any off of here or make any more scraps or trash so just like that and then I'll fold this up so we'll put a little glue this is you know how calendar paper usually is I mean there's some calendars that are thicker but uh, a lot of calendars like this one is from Dollar Tree uh, I don't know if they have thicker calendars or not, but this one happens to be, you know, on the thin side of paper, paper-wise, so. There we go. Okay, so let me see. Nice and flat. So we've got a little pocket calendar on this side. Pretty butterfly on this side. So this is going to be our center. This could be almost even be our first page. Let's see how it looks. Let me fold it in half, and then we'll then we'll 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 do a little practice session here, see if we want this to be our first page. But I have a lot more. Well, not a lot more. You can't fit tons of paper in here, but I can fit a lot more than this in here. I'm going to, <laughs> but I have a feeling this is not going to be our first page. Let's see. That's the bottom of the butterfly. Let's. Nope. I have to have it that way because I have the pocket. Okay. So, yeah. Just a pretty page there with our butterfly but I don't want that to be the first page okay so let's see so that is actually three I'm gonna say it's three pieces of paper even though the pocket is actually two so it'll be four but still I'm not gonna count that as two pages I'm gonna count that as one page so um, hold on one second I'm gonna see what else I can pull out here and then we'll cut up some more paper just a second Okay, so I pulled out a bunch of paper from my trashy junk journal basket, and one of them was this envelope because I showed you that other one in my last video that I brought home from work that seemed like, when I first saw it, I, I said yellow, but it's actually a brown, you know, like envelope that you get in the mail, those, or that you buy. <laughs> I got it in the mail, and so I saved it, but this is a smaller one. It has writing on the front. Oh, I got this from a file at work that we closed. Yeah, we closed the file, and this was going to be thrown in the trash, and I brought it home, and now I'm using it, and 
There we go. Saving it from the landfill. Okay. So, uh, let me see. Let me put my lid on my glue here. My art glitter glue so it doesn't dry out. So let's see. Okay, so this is separated now. I have this. I'm glad I didn't cut the flap off because I can use that later or now or whenever. But, um... Let me just fold it this way real quick. And then this one we'll use now. Let's see how wide it is compared to our cover. Okay, I'm going to try to fall off my table there now. Oh, it's just about the right length. Look at that. Okay, so we're going to even up this little bit here. And, oh, that's so exciting that it's the right width. That I don't have to cut off too much. See this? Look at that. How, that's I that can't get any more perfect than that. <clears throat> okay, so if I let me fold this so that it would be the right length here. Yeah, I pulled out the smaller pieces, is what I did. So this is a smaller journal. Because some of these little book page covers that I had made are bigger. I think this is the last of the smaller ones. The smallest ones. There's a little extra thick part here in the middle of this envelope. I'm trying to fold there. Okay, so let's see. So where, where was my, what was I measuring? This side. Did it fold right? Yeah, right here. So, let me see how much is sticking up here. Oh, not that much. Okay, I was trying to see if I had enough to make a pocket there. Um, so, so really I just need to cut that off because that's not enough to make a pocket. <laughs> so let's, um, I'm trying to get it square too. It's like whopper jawed here. Hold on, let me, let me get this more even so I can make a straight cut. There we go. Uh, there we go. Okay. So now I have two pages. So I'm going to cut, cut this in half. Let me get rid of some of this trash that's lurking over here. Okay. And another... Sorry, I know my table's shaking. There's a thick spot in the middle of this envelope that doesn't want to cut. And my paper cutter here. Ah, why? Give me a hard time. All right, I'll use my scissors if I can find them. <laughs> I need to clean up my table after this video. I haven't, uh, well, I have been in here one day this week when I'm making this video. It's the week I was had a cold. By the time you see it, I'm sure my cold will be long gone. Uh, but, uh, Anyway, so I haven't been able to, my goal was to come in here and clean up and then do some videos, but I haven't been in here because I was sick. And then now I'm just like, I don't want to clean up. I need to just do some crafting, <laughs> but I do need to clean up too after this video, maybe feeling a lot better. Energetic even, which all week is all, all I could do was uh, get to work and back. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Got to work, did my job, home, time to sleep. <laughs> okay. Uh, but now I'm good. I am good now. I'm good to go. I might not sound like it. I'm still a little stuffy at this uh, today, but I feel like I have energy. It's amazing. Back to my normal self. All right. Here's that thick part. It's in the middle of this envelope. Has a, this is a, I don't know not your typical probably a very well made envelope here it's just got this super thick part in the middle that's really annoying to fold but I am determined you will fold <laughs> you will bend to my will <laughs> let me get my scissors here well, something a little harder than my Finger, maybe. My finger's pretty hard, but it's not just bone. It's got skin on there, so <laughs> this is actually harder, right? No skin on this uh, 
the scissors. You know what I mean. I hope I'm making sense. Oh, now that little piece, see that part in the middle part? It's sticking up. I think I'm going to leave it though. I could add something. I could add something to it. See this part? It's just part of the envelope. It's nothing I did. It's just part of the envelope. But either I can glue it down, which I'd have to use Fabri-Tec on it to get it to glue down, probably. Or I can just fold it down. I think I'll just fold it down. But when I bend it, oh, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Okay. I think it'll be all right. Okay. And this side, how is this? It has the same thing. So it looks like the key is to, oh, it has it on both sides. Just how this envelope is made. Okay. I'm just going to see if I can fold it in half. Well, <laughs> that is weird. Okay. I'm just going to go with the flow of how the envelope wants to go. That little piece is right there. I'm going to fold that over now. And again, now these won't be together in here, but so it'll be something like that. All right, let's see. Let's put them uh, among our other pages here. So, I don't know if I, this could be a first page. Yeah, it could be a first page, and then we could decorate this. I'm going to put it there for now. So there's one of those, and then I'll put the other one in back of our middle page here. See, I just want to see if it sticks out. So, you know, the side or anywhere else, actually. Yeah, see, this, I thought, I figured one, I figured something was going to be too wide, and, yeah, this one is way too wide. Okay. I figured it was. I just uh, needed to get it where it might go and then figure it out. That's how I measure, you know. That is how I measure. Everybody measures different. Some things I actually use a ruler, but really, um, for me, to see if it fits and then if it doesn't, trim it down. I think it works. <laughs> okay, so, oh, she's looking pretty chunky already. Yes, she's looking good. There, I like, I like when the pages get in there and you can see how it's developing. Okay. Now that was the envelope, so I'm going to say we have enough envelope in there, so I'm going to put that back into my into my basket, and now I have a Jimmy John's bag. <laughs> yep, I have a Jimmy John's bag here. All kinds of paper bag sounds going to be happening at this point. Uh, so it's a wide open bag. I think that I would like to... You know what worked really good with that gift bag was if you really want to maximize your bag, I'll show you. If you didn't see that video where I cut up the yellow yellow gift bag that I used on the inside of this cover, or even if you did, maybe I didn't cut up the whole bag on video. So you just cut off this, say this is the front part, or front, back, whatever, cut off this piece. I mean, you can really use the whole bag and not throw any away, away unless you just cut off a little strip here and there. But, okay, so I'm cutting off on the crease the front piece of the bag. So there's one. A little sliver there I'll take off. And then cut off your bottom. Cut off your bottom of your bag. This little rectangle piece on the bottom. And I think this is really cute. I have two already saved, a yellow and a green one, and I'm going to save this one, probably. I should. It's trash, so I am certainly certain I will be able to use this for something. The other ones are just cuter. See, here's one. Let me show you the other two I have saved. A green one and a yellow one, all the bottoms of the bags. This one's a bigger one. I might have to cut that one down, but we'll see. But then you have this whole piece of paper here. A whole wide piece of paper. Look at that. Is that crazy? It's a whole big piece of paper. I mean, you can't say you don't have paper when you have a big giant piece of paper like this. 
that's like a 12 by 12 piece of paper right there. So that could be used for a big junk journal if you wanted to use, you know, just trash or whatever in a junk journal and not buy any paper. You know, paper bags. It's not cardstock. If you just want paper, free paper, there you go. I think it's awesome. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to cut this down to fit in here. Let me use this first page as a template real quick and see what we can do here. Um, something like this. Yeah. Uh, or this. I kind of would like to get the middle of this Jimmy John's, but it's, it's so much thinner. But I think that's all right. Because then I wouldn't be wasting. See, I can get like three pages out of it if I do that. Let me get it down to, let me cut above because I might even this up a little bit up here. It's a little bit like torn there, torn there. I might or might not, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to cut it right here above the JJ evenly on those, right above those two J's. Not on the two J's, right above them. Trying to get it right above them and not on them. Let me see what that's going to be. Let me move it down just a tiny hair there. I'm trying to get above them and not on them. Yeah, it's just like a hair above them. So then I have this big piece here, which is great for a little junk journal. Like this, which we still might use in here. And then I just need my length again, which will be about right here. So I made a little crease right there. We can cut right there. Right there. We'll have this page. Little page. And that'll be cute. I'll fold that in half as a page. Also. <clears throat> and that could still be something to a pocket or a page. Okay, so let's see. And this. And let's just put this here. And then here. Okay, let's see how she looks. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, there you go. Okay. So, um, let's... I don't want to commit to another piece of the bag yet because I have another bag here. This is a RX prescription bag or whatever from the pharmacy, pharmacy bag. From There's some nice yellow strips in here from that. <laughs> I'm going to save these and get rid of these two little slivers. But uh, this is from the pharmacy at Walmart. And it doesn't have a bottom, but it has a front and a back and a gusset. So uh, let me see how tall it is. Is it like the perfect width or length here? It kind of is. I might have to cut off a sliver if I do it this way. Let's see if I can keep it this way and just cut off. I may have to sacrifice the gussets on this one. But I've never used this pharmacy bag before, but I've always wanted to. You know what I mean? They're this like nice glassine paper. And I have just threatened to save them so many times. And then I end up throwing them in the trash. Because I'm just like, it's trash, it's trash. <laughs> Sherry. But now I have an excuse not to throw them out. Because uh, I'm making trashy junk journals. So there you go. I finally get to use one. <laughs> Given to my, uh, you know... The reason I'm saving them. Okay, so here we go. I mean, the reason I want to save them. Okay, so let's get rid of all of these slivers and see what we're left with here. Get another piece of the gusset, and then I'm going to see if I can save this whole piece and like make a, a fold out with this. Let's see how this ends up. That's the very bottom. Now, let me just, 
I can see I could have a flip out on both sides here. Look, so we got this is what we're left with. So I fold it that in half. And so there's a fold there. Put some glue on my fingers. And fold here on this one. All right. Here we go. And it's a nice little crinkly paper. Okay, so this glue is like getting to me here. Okay. All right, so we've got our Jimmy John's, our butterfly, our yellow pocket. Let's put one here. Oh, I said I might have to cut off a sliver. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that so it's not too tall. So a little bit on each, just to make sure it's not too tall. There's one sliver and two slivers. It's like an eighth of an inch that I cut off. Okay. Now, let's see what we're putting on here. All right, let me get this out of the way here. This is the middle part. Okay, so it would be like this. I need to grab a tissue. Okay, here, that's better. Now I'm gonna fold this in on each side. inside part of our journal and then our pocket page our brown envelope which looks yellow now <laughs> our butterfly in the middle so let's do another one here I don't have to use this whole thing in here but why not I think it's really a nice uh, different feeling paper. It's kind of like, you know, well, it's kind of like paper here, you know, just paper feeling and then the outside. You know how pharmacy envelopes are, or pharmacy bags, and then the glassine like covered part on the outside. Let me fold this a little better, a little bit less, more square there. Okay. And then it'll be like this. So we're almost, almost to our limit here of papers. Let's see now. Oh, everything's tucking in here. Yep, still fitting inside. Good, everything fits. Let me see how many pages we have. One. I mean, um, I'm counting papers, and then, you know, we'll go from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So at least two more. Two more really should be the limit because when you get that many in a little journal like this it it's plenty because you if say you have 10 papers folded in half that's 20 and if you count the surfaces that is 40 and once you get if you put things in here if you glue things in if you glue things in on 40 surfaces this is going to be an alligator mouth <laughs> so <laughs> you don't want to put more than that many pages in here. Okay, so what do I have left? Wow, I have all of this left that I pulled out. Okay, so, um, and this is all from my trashy, uh, trashy basket. Uh, let me see, what's the smallest paper in here? Maybe I'll go with that since this is my smallest. Uh, we already put a Jimmy John's thing in here, so I think I'm gonna skip that. Have this oh here's my smallest paper right here so this will go in this is a cover paper from a uh, echo park paper pad so it's already cut for me so I can just slip that right in here so we got plain deck you know kind of decorated and let's put this in between because it's got a pattern on it and this is plain color here 
Okay, so that one's in there. So one more paper. Here's another Echo Park piece, but I'm going to save that because it's bigger and I already have a piece in there. My next smallest piece might be this right here. And let me make sure. I think so. Yes. Yes, I'm right. Okay, so this is um this is a piece of oh this is a from my from church. It's the um they give you this uh so you can follow along with the the, the pastor's message. <laughs> but um I kept it and uh folded it into what looks like an envelope shape. See this right here? This is the flap. So I mean most people either like I didn't use it they have everything up on the screen too so you don't you can do if you want to write things down you can use this or if you want to look up on the screen you can see it so it's not like I wasn't paying attention <laughs> when I was at church but um yeah I didn't use this so but I didn't throw it away I kept it so we can put now we can put this in here as a page so I think uh, maybe right here another place that's kind of got a plain two plain pieces so this will be you know text on this one so let me cut off there's a little bit of a plain edge on either top and bottom edge here let me cut that off because it's a little too tall a little too tall all right let's see if that's good uh, yeah I think so and we'll have that little flap there I think that's adorable all right, so that does it. Now we've got our pages. Now we can sew this in and go from there. So uh, I hope you like how this is developing. Super adorable. Look at the middle part. Oh, butterfly. So cute for a trashy junk journal. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to see you in my next video. And uh, we will. I'll probably have already sewn the pages in. And then we'll uh, see where it goes from there. So thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.